Hi, I'm Erin Reynolds, and I am part of the program committee for Indiecade. Hi, my name's Tiffany. I work with Indiecade. I'm the director of partnership. Hi, I'm Chris Delion. I'm Indiecade's alumni lead. If you've always wanted to be part of Indiecade, this is the best year to try it out. Indiecade Anywhere is going to be taking Indiecade and all the parts that we love most about it and expanding it to a format that folks can participate in from all over the world. A lot of us, Indiecade was our first time having our game selected as a finalist. It was our first time giving a talk at a festival. It was our first time winning any awards. It was our first time, in some cases, attending a festival. And by making it go fully online, it's now accessible more than ever to speakers, to presenters, to game developers, to attendees all over the globe. What I really want you to know is that we're thinking about this from the ground up to elevate the conference in new directions. And I'm really excited about some of the new creative opportunities that that opens up for showcasing games in brand new ways and bigger ways. We can feature and showcase even more diverse voices than we usually do from different locations, different backgrounds, and different disciplines. I'm really looking forward to catching up with all of my friends and, and colleagues who I look forward to seeing every year at Indiecade, as well as getting to meet new friends and new colleagues. One of the things that's always made Indiecade a little bit different is that it's open to games that are works in progress, early in development. We're looking for submissions of what you're working on, all of the great ideas and, and, and products and, and you know, tinkerings that, that you've been working on. We want to see and we want to celebrate at Indiecade. It's a chance for that step up for many people's careers and opportunities, whether you are in industry, whether in arts, whether it's just something you kind of do as an exploration of expression. Indiecade celebrates so many kinds of games. Submission process is exactly the same. Our full jury is still running. We still have a full slate of awards and we've put together some unique online programming. All games are still welcome. Physical games, board games, big play, XR, MR, AR, Whatever you can think of, including traditional digital video games, are still welcome. We're going to be highlighting some of the coolest things going on in the international indie community. We want you to be a part of this, so please submit so that we can be part of this amazing event in October together. Naturally, as part of the Alumni Network, a major part of the value of Indiecade for us in Los Angeles, in New York City, in Paris, and now worldwide in Indiecade anywhere and everywhere has been in the networking of meeting new people, meeting peers, connecting to the next generation of people, building connections to people who had a head start before us. Just bumping into you know, your next great collaborator or your next idea is a conversation that's going to happen just around the corner. When you bring in an event online, you do have a different format for this sort of organic exchanging of ideas and meeting people. But that is something that we really feel is important to the spirit of Indiecade. And so we are setting up this conference so that that still can happen. You can still have those conversations. They'll still have those meetings. It's going to be very live and interactive and organic. And you're going to be able to connect with attendees of Indiecade from all around the world, just like you would at the in-person event that uh, Indiecade has been traditionally. Submissions are currently open at Indiecade.com. If you're concerned about the cost of submitting, you'll find there's information there about financial assistance. We do not want cost to be a barrier. We would just love to hear about what you're up to and find ways to put in front of the right audience. I know that you have a lot of questions right now about what specifically this new version of NDK is going to look like. And we're going to be unveiling more information about it in the coming weeks and months. So stay tuned. If you want more information on how to submit or attend, go to IndieCade.com or follow us on Twitter at Indiecade. I think this is a fabulous new direction for Indiecade to be taking because the possibilities it opens up are just endless.